It's like a National Geographic program, but on people. Yeah. Hmm. What do you think? Yeah, I can, I can, I can see it. Like 24 boring hours, sorry, and like a three-minute sex scene where he falls asleep right after. No. Welcome back to another episode. My name is James Horsey. Um, in the last episode, I focused a lot on uh, eras changing, and I wanted to go a bit deeper into that today because it's interesting how so much has changed in the past couple of months for me. I'm back at home now. I've finished university, and I'm in a new job. Uh, my new job, I absolutely love it. I'm working with some great people, and it's good fun. And it's amazing how much a new work environment with good people can change your uh, mentality really. My old job I hated so much um, and I could feel that effect and that toll on me. Um, and now starting a new job that I love and I have good fun with good colleagues um, really changes the whole aspect of how I sort of um, behave. And I always think maybe it's wise to someone there is if you're, if you're sort of in not one of the best jobs in the world and you hate it, um, I'm not necessarily saying quit, um, but maybe look for another job that would be, maybe it might not be the dream job, but something that can would be ben more beneficial to you um, in a working environment. Um, I've always thought that people should do retail once in their life, but maybe just don't do it for five years like I've gone and done it there. Um, but obviously air is changing and that's what I sort of wanted to have a little look at today. Um, I've left all my uni mates behind now. Um, I've left the 4.5 gang behind. And it's sad, I, I really am... I was missing them initially and then summer sort of started and I had a blast and I did loads of stuff and I really didn't have time to settle down. And it's only within the past week or two that I've sort of came to the conclusion, oh that's not going to happen again as september's rolled on and october's now here i've sort of realized that's oh the, that is actually gone and i don't actually know if i feel sad um obviously i miss them but i think because my life at the moment is going very well everything's quite upbeat i'm having a good time i'm always doing things i'm still there enjoying my own time and i know realistically that I'll see those friends again um, and it's interesting because I, I've, I've spent so many years in this kind of glum state of mind a big um, hatred for a lot of people just in general and now I suddenly came out of this shell out of nowhere and I didn't expect it to happen and I've, I've never felt more alive I just want to do things I just want to enjoy my time um, and it's interesting how I also feel like the film, doing a film degree was bringing that down. I, lo I like doing my film degree and I'm so glad for the people I met. And I'm glad I made films, it was good for experience. But uh, nothing's progressed for me. I'm still exactly where I was before I went to uni. Um, and now I'm at this stage of, I 
sort of realise, oh, I don't have to make films all the time. I can sort of do other things. And, I, you know, you, I think recently you only you only know of having one shot at this. So well, why the, the fuck am I going to do something um, that gives me stress? And I do want to make films. I'd love to make films for a living. I'd love for that to be my permanent, you know, um, life job. Um, but not at the moment. I, I want to save some money and I like having consistent money at the moment so that I can do things but this my main point here is that eras changing is always something that people um worry about it's always something when something changes in your life you always start to go oh geez oh geez and causes stress and uh, my advice is don't let that stress overtake you it's embracing those last moments of that era before it changes and then sort of um See what the next one brings and find the little joys that the next one brings. Um, and I feel like that is what I've learned recently. And um, it's, really, it's, it's really boosted my spirits in general as a person. Yeah. So, see you later. James Parker Horsley. I've now graduated. Um, so I finished uni now completely. It's out of my life and I've got to move on with the real world. It's been a while since I sat here. It's actually been since episode 16, I believe, since I sat here. One year special. Today's episode is a very special episode as this series turns one year old. Which has been quite a while. Um, I've been home many times since then. I don't know why I've never decided to come back to this little room. Uh, maybe because I've outgrown just sitting behind a blank screen and sort of thing talking. But I thought for this it would be appropriate. It was lovely seeing the gang again um, for the first time since July. It was nice to just be with them, hang out, talk. And it never felt like we'd really been apart, you know. It was just, It's one of those things whenever you see good mates, the next time you see them, you're just going to get on with them again, um, you know. And that, that was nice. And um, Yeah, and we even had such a good time at graduation that we came back up the next weekend uh, to Cheltenham to see each other again. Um, but what I want to talk about as well is the enjoyment I've had since I actually came home to now. I didn't really think that I was going to enjoy going home. I was quite fearful of it. Uh, the change was a bit scary. And truth be told, I, before this period of my life started, um, I used to hate coming back home. Um, I didn't think there was much to do here. And then out of nowhere, summer started and uh, a group, you know, my group got back together and a few new people joined the group as it always happens every year or a new group sort of forms out of it. And um, to my surprise, you know, quite a lot of people were still down here and were staying here. It's been a wonderful time. I've really enjoyed myself and I'm working now regularly making, you know, enough to live and then I can still enjoy myself on the weekends. And I've had such a wonderful time. I feel like I've done so much and it's really made me appreciate where I live again um, and I think maybe having that break being in uni has actually benefited this um, but I had such a wonderful summer and I've had such a wonderful time even after summer and um, I, I'm, I'm very thankful for those people being there and uh, giving me the time of day um, and we all give each other the time of day and it, it's great fun it's great fun and um I just look forward to that 
uh, period of my life continuing more into 2022. Oh, the way she smiled Must be an angel in her eyes Up in the sky I just wanted to briefly go over the Super 8 video I made, Memories of University. Uh, recently I've released two of these, uh, one for my cousin's wedding and one then um, that I shot during my time in university. I thought it would be nice to just shoot my friends. But I wanted to go over the process here so you can see the raw footage here when I've got it on screen. And what you can see is how I've changed the colours uh, to make it a bit more vibrant. I had to change the contrast as well so that that grey disappeared from the raw footage because uh, it was really present and I shot with Kodak 50D and that's meant to be quite that's meant to be a bright film but unfortunately it it was bright but it still had that grey overtone so I, by simply uh, changing the contrast a bit and adding a bit more saturation and colour correction in places it actually managed to make it look a lot more bright and vibrant than it does and that's the thing with most Super 8 videos that you'll see online they won't be just the raw footage uploaded directly into a montage uh, most of them will be the contrast will have been changed and uh, the colors uh, will have been changed just to give it that more nostalgic appeal to it I think um, and I just wanted to sh show that little process here um, of how I went through that uh, because this was a different project for me and I was really pleased with actually how it came out in the end and the whole video together. A uh, big shout out to Deja Vu on SoundCloud who uh, the song is by and I use his music in the majority of my videos um, which he gave me kind permission to do uh, many years ago. Hello, this is Michael Evans. <laughs> uh, obviously you you did uni mm. a while ago. Yeah. Uh, when did you finish? 2016? Uh, I finished in 2015. 2015. Yeah, I graduated at the end of 2015. Okay. Yeah. And when you left uni, mm. you were explaining to me earlier how like you lived, that like uni felt more like school. Yeah. Did you ever feel like when friends were leaving uni, did, did you, do you ever like feel stress when eras change for yourself? Like just as a whole? Yeah, I think there's, there's a, a certain amount of pressure that comes with change you know you, you when things progress in your life and you know a, a chapter closes you feel like you know certainly from a young age everything has the next step mm. um but i think after uni it's very much a you are in full control now and that, like there's no kind of right or wrong way to go about it it's something you have to figure out for yourself you know yeah um and again that's just something that comes with age you know you just got to like find your feet 
and survive out there you know after after uni's done yeah do you ever do you ever feel now like uh, this was an aspect i was thinking of the other day do you yeah. ever think it's because you know like how you're always sort of got that idea that you've got to do school then you've got to mm. do uni or some some kind of like maybe go into a job or something it's either a case of once you leave school you either do your a levels and go to uni yeah or you do a like a BTEC or something and then start a job or go straight into a job yeah do you ever think it's because you're at that phase now where you're like you actually don't know what's coming next so it doesn't really matter yeah absolutely like, I, like do yeah. you think the stress goes then because of that yeah I mean the, the stress comes because of the uncertainty I'd say um, and and that is the point I think for a lot of people where your life is uncertain because you know you, you your educational years are, are done more or less yeah um and and it's very much now you become you know yourself there's there's no, nothing really tying you down uh, i mean it's certainly in the way of education in the way of work is a different story as you were saying earlier mm. um so it, it's fine it's finding balance between you know finding yourself and obviously having a job and and surviving yeah um so which i know a lot of people can relate to yourself included yeah so. have you and like with your jobs once you mm. left uni what was that hmv you went to yeah did you have like weekends off there or like a certain amount of days off a week uh yeah we, we had because like the same amount of days off each week so you know it's five working five days a week five, two five days working a week. yeah and that i feel like having a weekend off is really beneficial absolutely yeah yeah which but it was rare i i mean i did a lot of um, extra time was it yeah i mean yeah days in a row you know i did almost you know a week and six days six seven days in a row yeah. sometimes yeah, yeah, I see um, what you say. and yeah so a weekend off you really do tend in, to appreciate, appreciate when yeah yeah yeah, yeah exactly yeah, no, I, well i was i was the yeah. same when i was doing resale like you know do <sighs> but thing is i always used to moan about retail and then at times i feel mm. bad for moaning but like I was working 5 a.m. So when you work mm. 5 a.m., mm. you're exhausted for the rest of the day, and then you do it the next day, and you're like, yeah. Jesus Christ, like, yeah. what am I doing? Whereas yeah. now it's like I'm in a pattern. So I'm doing 10 to half six every day, and then I u maybe work Fridays. It, mm. it varies, but gra guaranteed mm. Saturday, Sunday off? I, what, in HMV? No. No, me, no, I'm saying oh, now. Saying, yeah, now but no, yeah. you're, like you're saying your retail job yeah, was yeah, the yeah, same yeah. as mine it's yeah. consistent yeah, yeah, and yeah, it, yeah. it doesn't really matter how many hours you do a day at yeah, those kind no, of jobs no not at all yeah your current job do you get weekends off um sometimes well yeah i mean i'll get so many weekends off a month okay so, oh, I see. so it's a bit more benefit i'm in a better position better than position yeah but you quite um, enjoy your current job as well yeah yeah no i do um it, it's got more more to it offer so yeah. <laughs> at least i feel like i've progressed a little bit but yeah i mean the uncertainty again as i was talking about earlier it's just so long as you're in the moment you're happy and 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 you're taking care of yourself that's the main thing really um change will sort of come, come naturally exactly yeah. exactly Cause you're sweet and lovely girl, I love you Cause you're sweet and lovely girl, it's true Ah, a little bit of everything, isn't it? Everyone's a bit unhappy with their lives. Um, economically, we're fucked. Um, and, yeah, it's not great. It's not awful. It could be worse. But could it? Probably not. Then again, I like to take the jazz out of the approach, which is... And this is what I've really been looking forward to showing is my new sort of studio setup. So my parents decided that it'd be um, wise to redecorate my room. And with that, they've added a desk and um, I've managed to get a new PC, a, a custom built PC. Uh, it's got a Ryzen 9 processor and a pretty good graphics card as well, which will massively help with my editing, the processor especially. Uh, when it comes to rendering and just being able to handle the editing programs I use, like Audition, Premiere and Vegas. My old laptop could na not tackle any of this at all. Um, for old, what I'm thinking about episodes, it would take about six hours, seven hours to do a render. 
Um, and then often I'd find there'd be issues in the episodes and then I have to come back and re-render it again. And that's another six hours. So it usually used to take like two days to sort of get completed what I'm thinking about from when I thought I'd finished editing to being uploaded. Whereas now this is so much quicker. This will take, you know, less than an hour from what I've calculated through how it's done other videos, um, which is just fantastic, um, realistically. It just means I can be more consistent with my editing and quicker and if I had a client there who was on demand wanting something really quickly um, I don't have to be like yeah it's gonna you know that will take another six hours it'd be like that that's gonna be done in two seconds for you now yeah give me a moment um, so I'm thrilled with this can't thank my mum and dad enough for that uh, really appreciate it um, that was like a big, big Christmas and graduation gift for myself um, but it just means I can be more creative now with programs I feel like I've got now big two big monitors um, I've got a second one coming on the way soon um, and it just sort of means I can be more creative um, with my photography and my filmmaking and hopefully I'll get some more sound stuff to do soon. I have actually recently just worked on a project called Pigeon. Uh, it was created by my good friend uh, Mike and uh, Christopher. Uh, the two of them made this really cool animation and they've submitted it to film festivals and I did all the sound design for it. Uh, it's now available to watch on YouTube, and I'll have a little link in the description for that. Uh, it's worth checking out. It's very short, uh, very sweet, and very funny. Um, and I look forward to seeing how well uh, the film does for the two of them, and for them making more content soon. Um, I believe they said that it was um, they've in, they enjoyed making that one, and it, they did it very quickly, actually. And um, it's very unique, the style um, of animation, and it's 2D. Um, but yeah, it was a joy to work on that. Before this episode started, I was a bit worried um, about the changes. And I think pretty instantly from the start, you could tell I was sort of um, getting used to the changes pretty quickly. Now that we're here and it's been about six months since I've sort of my life's changed again in a direction. Um, I can positively say that I'm I'm happy about it. Um, I am, There are times where I miss the, the guys from uni. And I get a bit mellow about it. But I wouldn't say it bugs me. Because graduation also helped with that seeing each other again. But it's a case of that I know that, you know, they're doing their own thing now. And they're all they're all doing their own thing. And everyone seems to be doing quite well. Um, and that's nice to see. Um, and, yeah, whilst I do miss them, you know, there's always going to be a meet-up at some point next year where you'll just get those moments to catch up again. And to be honest, we still talk every day. Um, I'm quite used to having internet friends. So sort of talking online is kind of a, a norm to me, I guess. I am very pleased for the friends I have here at the moment. Uh, I can't thank you guys enough if you're watching this video who uh, are living down here at the moment and we all go to the pub and stuff. Uh, we all have such a good time and uh, you all bring quite a lot of joy into my life. And... Um, I couldn't think of a better way to be back home and spend time with those people. Um, yeah, that's all I really have to say. I'm, I'm just in a in a very good logical place. Um, this episode's been a lot different. I wanted to sort of just make it a bit quicker, a bit more direct. Um, mainly because I've never really talked before about how I sort of feel. It's more what I'm thinking of in general in the moment, but not sort of how I, I think I feel. I don't go into that depth too much. And, uh, you know, past fair few years, maybe past five years, I probably haven't been in the best headspace ever. Um, and it's weird that once the stress of uni and the stress of my old work left me, which was work I'd been doing for five years beforehand and uni had been a big three. It's weird that once those two uh, sort of left my life, I felt better than I think I ever have done in my whole life. And it's interesting how realistically I always knew that my work was a big stress that I hated and I wanted to get out of. Uni was a stress, but it had to be done. I, I, you know, I wasn't not going to go through with that. There were points where I thought I was not going to go through with it, but I, you know, I knew in the end I had to. And it's weird that once those two went, I just felt completely great, and I feel back down to earth and log logical again. I think I, I think logically again. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching the episode. Uh, sorry if I've babbled on a bit there. Believe it or not. Uh.
I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Have a great day.